So it was a while ago now, I went to Wales and I tried to set up a uh, half wave dipole for 80 metres and uh, it didn't work, it all went a bit pear shaped. I ended up um, making an absolute monstrosity of uh, inverted V and end feeding it. But um, this, I think the ballon was faulty and this, uh, this is the ballon in question. Now I've had this absolute donkey's years and it's been sat in my box of spares and not really been used. And uh, I put it into service for this dipole in Wales, and uh, it was oddly enough, it was resonant on the 160 meters. Bearing in mind, I'd cut the elements for uh, 80 meters, so there, there's something not right with this uh, uh, with this balance. So I'm going to open it up and uh, see if we can work out what's going on on the inside. So if I take these. Uh, I've got three screws here which hold the uh, panel in place, hold it together. So let's uh, open it up. I'll get the multimeter on it and uh, see if I can figure out what's going on. So let's uh, keep my screws together. Right, so, well, having a look on the inside, didn't look too bad. Let's get the multimeter on it. Um, I'm just going to do a continuity check. So when I put these two probes together, there you go, you can hear the meter beep. So let's go center pin first. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Well, we know that'll be good because that's the centre pin in there. Yeah. I should have continuity between the two there. As if I probe from the centre to there, centre to there. There's only a coil of wire, so at DC, yeah, got continuity there. Well, that's a bit suspect, isn't it? Oh, I know. I'll tell you what I have just noticed, that'll do it. This could be a really easy fix. Um, I'll try and show you on camera. I don't know how easy this is going to be to see, but can you see uh, that loose connection there? See as I'm wiggling it with the screwdriver, you've got the uh, end of the coil, uh, end of this coil here, that connection there where my finger is it's loose I'm try and get it in the camera this it's a bit awkward because I'm doing this uh, back to front I'm using the screen on the camera to see what I'm doing but uh, there you go you, you can see that you can see it moving with my finger so I think all I need to do is uh, heat up the soldering line and uh, stick a bit of solder on it this should be quite an easy fix okay so a couple of minutes later and uh, Soldering iron should be hot by now. And off camera, I uh, took a sharp object, just a knife, and uh, just rubbed around or scraped around the uh, connector there just to give myself uh, something to solder onto. So uh, let's get a bit of solder on the tip of the iron and. Um, there you go. Wedge that in place, stop it moving about. And heat it up. There we go, get it nice and hot so the solder starts to flow. Want to be careful not to melt the plastic though. But at the same time, I we'll want a good connection on there. There we go, nice blob of solder. Let that dry out. I'll let it cool. And just uh, check. So if I prod it with the screwdriver now, that shouldn't move. Yep, we're looking good. So. 
let's uh, go back to the multimeter again and do a continuity check so there we go I'm going to put the uh, one side of the multimeter in there and right so just for sanity other side of the pin yep so I'm trying to hold this so the camera over my shoulder can see what I'm doing so there's the center pin which is where my uh, multimeter is connected to so I'm just going to follow the circuit around so we've got continuity there which we expect continuity on the uh, there which is the other end of that wire and continuity there continuity there and most importantly because this is where our break was continuity on there there we go I, th I think we fixed it and just for uh, sanity right so next thing I'm going to do then is let's uh, get rid of the multimeter for a second I'm going to put the uh, cover back on, seal it back up. Put the screws back in. And then we've got one final check that we can do in a minute. Once I uh, get these screws in. I have to say that was a somewhat easier fix than uh, than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Okay, so I'll just turn the soldering iron off before I forget. And uh, get the solder out of the way. I'm not the tidiest of all people. My desk is an absolute heap at the moment. Um, right, so how can we test it? Right, probably the best bet is in here I've got some resistors. Now, ideally, you'd put a 50 ohm resistor across there and then uh, stick a multimeter on it and you should get a one-to-one -one SWR. Um, I don't actually have any 50 ohm resistors and by the way, you want to use uh, non-inductive resistors because if you get any inductance in there, it'll uh, throw your readings on the meter. So what I'm going to do, I've actually got a 50 ohm resistor. This is a one kilo, uh, one kilo ohm resistor. So I'm just going to tuck that in there across the uh, connections. Oops. Or we'll try to do that again. One in there, one in there, and nip it up. So we can probably see this better on the camera, which is over my shoulder here. So I've got a uh, one to one ballon, uh, one kilo ohm resistor on the two connections. So let's get a feeder cable stick that out of the way and an antenna analyzer turn it on I don't know how well you can see the uh, screen of this on the on the camera. Um, so, right, we're at uh, 10 megahertz. We've got 18.5 to one on the SWR. That should remain reasonably constant. It, it'll change a little bit with the frequency. See, it's gone up to uh, 
23 there, but uh, that's on uh, top of the 80 meter band. And uh, go up to 40 meters, 20. So yeah, if we, if we say we're getting about 20 to one then, which may sound like quite a high SWR, but remember we, this antenna analyzer was looking for a uh, 50 ohm load and we put a kilo ohm load in there. So if we do 1000 divided by 20 on the calculator, that will give you 50 ohms. So basically this balance is now giving us one to one, which is what we'd expect. So if we put a 50 ohm resistor across the, if we put a 50 ohm resistor across those two terminals, then uh, we would get one to one on here, on on your uh, SWR. So I think that's good. So if we put that up now, it should uh, should start working. Now I haven't actually got any dipoles here, so this is all uh, very theoretical and elementary. But we'll uh, we'll try it next time I'm down the field. We'll uh, stick up a dipole and uh, see if it works. Thank you for watching. If you like what I do, please click the thumbs up button. It lets me know that I'm heading in the right direction with the channel and gives me the confidence to keep doing what I'm doing. Don't forget to click the subscribe and also the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. If you don't like what I'm doing, feel free to click the thumbs down button. Just tell me why in the comments below. I welcome your feedback and constructive criticism will help me to improve the channel. Take care and I hope you will catch me in the next video.